Welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. If you're new to the channel, my name is Josh. This is Ben Fishing, where we do all sorts of species, multi-species fishing, and really, really focus on ice fishing. So that's what this video is going to be about. So let me sneak outside here into the man cave garage. So tomorrow we're getting up really, really early to go scout for ice. Scouting for first ice is always super sketchy. Fortunately, I am going alone, but I'm gonna have a float suit on, both top and bottom and waterproof boots and the ice spikes and everything and people know where I'm going, which is always good. And I'm gonna be super cautious. So I'm gonna look for first ice. I have nothing prepared. So the last hour here, I've been stringing up rods and just throwing everything in the front seat of my truck and the back seat of my truck. I actually just bought a sled today because I had to sell my sled recently and I'm not even gonna bring the auger or anything like that. It's gonna be spud bar ice. Hopefully if we even find ice. So we might be driving up to two and a half hours in one direction to get you guys first ice video so stay tuned it's gonna be kind of a vlog kind of style video today but there is some big news that i'll be saying in the rest of the video some big ice fishing news for the channel which i'm super excited about to share with you guys uh for the rest of the year so stay tuned and uh, if you like what you're seeing obviously hit that subscribe button thumbs up comment below what's the earliest you've been on first ice i really want to know right now it's uh, november 26 or 27 and i've been off for the last two weeks i got sick and I've been on vacation, so I am really itching to get out there and go fishing. It's been two weeks, I'm like dying here. So what's the earliest you've been fishing um, here in the, the lower 48? How about that? You guys in Canada, it's just not fair that you guys get like an extra two months of ice fishing. All right, see you in the truck tomorrow morning. All right guys, we are on the road. I look like crap like always, but it's uh, 7.30, 46 degrees out, and it is November 28th. So, I have seen skim ice on three ponds this morning, which is good, and we're, you know, below the Concord area, if anybody wondering. And I will spend a lot of gas money today looking for ice, but it is crucial to get on the ice first. So, we're still going. As much as I wanted to just stay home and do video editing for you guys and do some other stuff, but we're, we're going, we're going, we're going. Uh, it does not hurt to check. And this will give me a better idea later in the week when it gets a little bit colder to figure out what ponds are going to freeze first. So, keep coming for the ride. Well, we're, we're getting to our very first spot. We're six minutes away. I'm seeing snow on the side of the road and the temps drop from 47 to 40. So, let's go, uh, let's go check this first spot and uh, see if it's stiff or not. All right. I see ice guys, so let's go out and uh, take a look. It is windy as all get up. And I just bought a new pair of these, so we're gonna put these together. We'll actually just string them around my neck. And then we're gonna go check the ice. Fishing line everywhere. I haven't cleaned out my truck yet for uh, ice fishing season. These are like $10 off Amazon. I've never had to use them and I don't want to use them, but basically you push this back when you're stabbing the ice, put them around your neck. You can stab the ice with these spikes and get out. So they go around my neck and they just kind of hang there. Let's grab the Eskimo spud bar. It's got cleats on, I got a flotation suit on. There's first ice. It is crazy windy and cold, and I hate it right now, but I'm like, I'm not used to getting, being cold yet. The edges will always be soft, so we're gonna check out a little bit further. It looks like there's tons of ice. This is not the best place to fish, but there's always ice here. That's gonna take me. Uh. You okay? No, you're not okay. Uh. Anyways, I just damaged my lens because the wind blew it over at 100 knots.
plenty of ice. And that's over my head. All right, we got about this much ice. Sorry about the lens. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pound a bunch of holes in here. I have two jaw jackers and I'm gonna set up a jigging rod. So I'm gonna set two eggs. I've got my worms this morning. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna fish here for a little while and see if we can catch some fish. About four feet deep. Set up another one over here where it's sandy. Whoo, it's cold. One there and I'll set up one over here. And then we're gonna go out a little bit. Try using live scope to pan around here. This has to be one of the prettier lakes that I've ice fished. Um, last year I came here and I broke my drill. This year, I just smashed my camera. Not the best look. Wow, it's windy. Right, let's go fish, let's go fish. All right, we're set up uh, obviously super shallow. We're gonna be using the automatic Fisherman Snapper, which is a great alternative to uh, the jaw jacker. It's actually a little bit cheaper uh, and it doesn't have one of the design flaws that the jaw jacker has which is at the end of it will freeze, but on this one it won't freeze at all. And we're using a little bit of uh, natural colored Potsky eggs. If there's been any fish stocked in here, they're gonna be brook trout, or I know they're brook trout actually. And that's the color of their eggs, so they will eat those eggs guaranteed. So we're gonna put a couple down the hole, and then a couple on the hook with a split shot. and set this guy up. All right, there's one. My eggs are just jilling off bottom. About, you know, the yay much. And I can see bottom. That's crucial for uh, brook trout fishing. So let's go set up another one. Not far away. Now that will go snap once a fish bites it. I have not caught any fish here ever in this pond actually. So my hopes are pretty low, but we'll give it an hour or so. And then we'll move on to a different pond. Hopefully that has more ice. Hopefully that has more fish. This is more ice than I expected already. So windy. All right, there's number two. Let's go get live scope and uh, set it up in the middle here with the jig rod. And enjoy the rest of the day. We're ice fishing, boys and girls. We're ice fishing. Get the live scope turned on. We gotta set up the ice fishing transducer. Basically, it's a different way of the pole here. So let me do that. I'm gonna pull that off. This is the summit pole, if you guys are wondering. And we're gonna slide this collar off and we're gonna replace it with the, uh, the ice fishing setup, which I have never used. That goes just on there, just like that. And then the handle goes back on just like that. And then I'm going to shorten this up quite a bit because we don't have that much ice. And we're going to be using the Winnie kit, which mine is empty because I have not had time to fill it. But these are available on my website um, with, loaded with white chartreuse glow jigs that I make specifically for Winnipesaukee, Lake Trout, Brook Trout, everything. But these are the stout little hooks that I saw. They're number four, seven millimeter tungsten. They're really heavy duty. Good enough for a 30 inch lake trout. I know there's smaller brookies in here, so I'm gonna break it down. Live scope is set up. Let's put her on auto. Bump the gain down quite a bit. That could be some fish suspended 40 feet away. That could be some fish high right there. All right, while we're waiting for fish, let's talk about the, the big news that's happening on the channel this year. I'm partnering up with three different groups this year. One being 
Eskimo Ice Fishing and Ion. They're actually the same company. I'm gonna be getting all sorts of new augers and new shacks, so that video is coming soon. I'm waiting for that stuff to arrive. I've already partnered with Snow Dog. You guys are gonna see the Snow Dog. Hopefully January 1st, we're gonna have some decent ice. And I'm partnering with Circle Tackle out of Massachusetts. So they make rods, they make jigs, uh, they make some uh, spoons and all sorts of good stuff. So I'm gonna leave a link for all three of these companies below. And you know I'm not a hard sell, guys. You know, you know that. I've been using Eskimo for, um, since I started ice fishing for the last five years, they reached out to me using Snow Dog for the last two years. And I used Circle Tackle last year at the very end of the season, their lake trout rod, which I really, really love. And they're shipping me stuff as we speak right now. It's on the way. So I haven't got any of that stuff yet, but I'm excited to try it. You know, I've been using cheapo rods for the last five years. I'm excited to use something that's really, really good. You know, a sensitive rod. So I'm excited for that. You guys are hearing it first before I even get all the stuff, which is super exciting. So stay tuned for all of those unboxing videos. All that kind of stuff will be coming soon. And uh, no jaw, no snappers have gone off yet, which I kind of expected. I technically should be jigging up super shallow without the live scope, but I've never been here before, so I don't know if they're these brookies run shallow up here because it's kind of a weird lake so we'll see i'm technically fishing for holdover fish i don't know if they've stocked that this this fall so it's kind of a long shot i'll give it another half an hour we could pack up and go uh more north i guess if there's a good four inches here i don't know what's going to be up north this this is kind of like a a really weird spot geographically. It gets, it's high elevation. We have snow around us. It's cold. It's exciting. You guys know me. I'm impatient. Let's go make another hole somewhere. Let's make one kind of over by the dam here. We got to get the spot bar. We'll leave those uh, those rods set up. Nothing's been eaten yet, but I kind of expected that. Should have brought my auger. Should have brought my auger. So I keep finding a bunch of rock, and I, and I know that from where I am. So let's try to find some sand. Uh, because caddis, which is a little green bug, turns into a fly, uh, loves sandy bottoms. I've seen it on the Aqua View, which is pretty sick. So we have a sandy shoreline, which is a good indication that there's sand by. Plenty of good ice, foot or so. Let's go a little bit deeper. Too deep. Gotta go like right here. So now we're just uh, now we're just sight fishing, obviously. All right, we're gonna give it a I don't know ten more minutes or so. I haven't really sat still for more than 10 minutes, so. Let's keep fishing. I'm gonna dig this for a little while. The action on this thing is beautiful, as always. All right, I've determined that there's no fish here. So, we're gonna go maybe south or north. I have no idea where we're gonna go. We're gonna collect everything, get back in the truck, and go somewhere where there's hopefully some more ice and some actual fish. See you guys there. Just gonna use my phone because I'm still driving. Spot number two is, has skim ice on part of it, but the rest of it is very, very wet. So I'm not gonna even show you where it is because there's just no point. So on to uh, lake number three. And I have no service, so it's really tough to get to where I'm going sometimes. See you at the next spot. So pond number three has ice, but it doesn't look that safe. And I don't know if they actually stock it in the fall. I've seen it on the list once, but we're gonna go to pond number four and see if that has safe ice. It might, it just might. Let's go. Don't think this is gonna be safe.
Well, spot number four. Spot number four is very wet. That would be open water, and I can't even walk on the boat ramp without falling through. So, on to lake number five, I think. So, this is a lot of driving, guys. This is first ice here in New Hampshire. Wish we had uh, some, some colder weather, of course. All right, we're on spot number seven or eight or six or seven. I'm not even sure anymore. Um, we've, we've put on until we half tank of gas already. So this spot is also wide open, uh, very windy. And we had uh, a bunch of rain and wind yesterday, so that kind of makes sense. So we're gonna try uh, maybe two more spots. I gotta see on the map if I'm gonna be going negative or not. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. We're at Dunkies for lunch. One more lake, actually maybe two more lakes. Just an update. Spot number seven, spot number seven or eight, <clears throat> or whatever we're at now is also wide open. So I'm gonna go take a couple casts anyways and see if I can catch something from shore. Let's go. I'm just gonna put the number below, but this is nine, 10 a pond that should be frozen. It's tiny, 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 but the wind is whipping right across it. So it's not frozen onto Whatever the next number is, this is early ice, guys. Early ice. I might check some more tomorrow. We'll see. Well, I'm home. That was filmed on Monday, and now I'm home on Wednesday. And I went back to that first pond, and I saw two brook trout in four hours. And I had all my lines out, all all six lines out. And I dropped my camera in the water. So we're back, back again filming with the cell phone. But thank you guys very much for watching. Sorry I didn't catch any fish, but that's first ice. That's just how how it works sometimes. Thanks for watching.